the position I have on the letters of support for contractors is uh, very clear. Uh, I've fitted it not once but many times uh, in Parliament over the past year uh, where the we have called upon the government to get rid of the practice of issuing letters of support because uh, while it may be designed, uh, while the letter of support may be designed for uh, what do you call it uh, for good purposes, uh, good intent, uh, it can be abused. And he has been abused many times by uh, various politicians uh, for their own interest to award contracts to, to, to companies and so on. I believe that there are no excuses to continue practicing the letter of support, including within our own Pakistan Rakyat State Government. Uh, mainly because we cannot use the excuse that this is something that the civil servants are asked for, or that this is a practice that is uh, inherited from Barisan National. Uh, if we have the necessary political will to change, uh, then we should get rid of this practice and uh, we should believe truly in a competent, uh, accountable and transparent government where all awards are based on open tenders uh, and competitive tenders. So I think that's, that's extremely important. Uh, the people expect uh, uh, higher standards coming from the Pakatan Rakyat State Government uh, and I think we should do our, what do you call it, uh, we should do our best to deliver uh, that, that the, the government that people want. We have to first, uh, what do you call it, uh, complete, uh, convince our party candidates. Obviously, there are different views within the party. Uh, we respect those views, and I think the party have to come to a consensus on how we deal with the lack of support issue. This is my position. I think it's a position that has been held by the uh, party leader, uh, parliamentary, uh, our DAP parliamentary leader, Nick Sen, as well. Uh, it is practiced in Penang, uh, where no lack of support are entertained or written. Uh, and we hope, we hope that this can be adopted as the official party stand and that no, no uh, members of parliament or state assemblymen from the party will be issuing such letters. Following that, that's the first step. Following that, then we hope to be able to convince the Pakatan Rakyat state governments to uh, stop this practice on our official basis. This is the perception from the public which we cannot, uh, what do you call it, uh, we cannot, what do you call it, dismiss. Uh, even if you have issued a letter on a goodwill basis uh, with no intent of uh, making any profit out of issuing the letter, but the process of being open to abuse will result in the public perceiving that this government uh, is prone to corruption. Okay, which is why this practice must be stopped. Because uh, we must not only be seen to be clean, but we must be perceived to be clean. As we must not only be clean, but we must be seen to be clean.